Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the simple point of sale system using PHP. Here, uh, I made this point of sale system for ice cream shop. It is very simple point of sale system. Uh, let us show the demo. Now here, uh, if you want to select the ice cream, uh, these are the uh, ice cream flavors available chocolate, mango, vanilla, strawberry and mixed fruit. Now if you want chocolate, click chocolate this one. If you click this image, it asks the quantity. If you give the select the quantity here, if you select 2, click add button. It added the table successfully. Here uh, price is 32, quantity 2 and here is a total. It is a total, right? Now here, if you want to buy another one, mango, click on this one, it asks the quantity. If you want to select the quantity one, here, final total will be calculated here. And strawberry, if you select the quantity, click mix fruit. Right. Now these are the totals available, right? If you want to uh, remove the item, click this one here, total should be reduced, item should be reduced. Right. Now this is a simple one. Now once the sales completed. If you click reset, here all the table should be, all the things will be clear, right? Uh, this kind of system, how to make step by step, I will explain. Now let's back to the project. Uh, write the code, I am using the editor called PHP Strom. You will be able to download the PHP Strom editor in Google, PHP Strom, right? Okay. This is the editor I have used to write the code, PHP Strom. If you like, you will be able to write the code at sublime text also. Whatever editor you will be using to write the code. Now I am using uh, PHP Strom. Here, first I am going to go to the new and new project. Now here I am going to create the new project as ice cream POS. This is my project, ice cream POS. Click OK. Yes, right. Now your new project has been created successfully. Ice cream uh, POS, right? This is a After that, what I'm going to do is select the folder ice cream uh, POS, right click, new file. Here I'm going to give the name as index.php. Right. Now here I'm going to design the, uh, design the page. First start with HTML tag. When you start, you must close the tag. After that, inside the HTML tag, you have to write add tag. After that tag, you have to write the body tag. Right. This is the thing we have to do. Here, first what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to style the page, right? So go to the Google, you simply go to the Google and type bootstrap. Right. This is the bootstrap website. Click on this one. Here select the button get started. Here this is the CSS and JSS you have to include in your project. So you have to include these two files. Just copy CSS first, go back here and paste inside the add tag. Right click and paste. Right. Same thing, go back to your project. Here JS, JS also you have to copy paste inside the attack right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here after that go to the body tag here i'm going to style the things so here inside the body tag i'm going to design the page so here i'm going to write first new class here we have to write new bar new bar dark bg dark right now here i'm going to write the span tag class new bar brand right here you have to write the ID. Ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. 
Boss. Right. That's the thing we have to do. Right. Now let's go to the local host and run the application and check whether it's working fine or not. Ice. What's the project name? We gave here ice cream pos. So go here local host ice cream pos. You have to type press enter key. Here it's working fine. Right. This is the new bar. Right. We have right inside the nav bar. I have uh, write the heading this one ice cream shop here. It's working fine. Right now after that what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to create the div div class row here. We have to write first one first div. I'm going to create div class. We have to write small column small you have to write three first div I have create various three divs we have to create first div this one same div control C to copy control V to paste here right this one should be six I have copy this div control C to copy control V to paste below right now this one uh, size three right now here uh, this one for table this one for form this one form form right now here first one what I am going to do is here first you have to write here is first div class container so we have to write div class list group item list list group item action active okay I'm going to write item right this is the ID right let's save and check here setting is look like this right very simple code right inside the container I have wrote like this right. after that what I'm going to do is here after that we have to write the uh, div class panel body bg duck we have to bg tag we have to style we have to write color this is a font color white 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 the body right now here we have to uh, design the form inside this div we have to design the form here we have to write form tag ID you have to write form project right after that we have to write here we have to write div class form group form group here we have to write first one should be the div div you have to write first one should be the image so you have to write image img tag here we have to call the images right now what I'm going to do is here uh, ice cream images I have put into one folder so here this is a folder ice this is the right these are the images right what I'm going to do is here first go back to my project select my uh, project folder right click new create a new directory here we have to call task images click ok right inside this image folder I have to put, put all the images right now here we have to select all the images 
right click copy and paste inside this folder right click and paste click ok right here you will be able to see all the images will be successfully pasted here right now we have to call right first I am going to call it as now we have to call the images so first inside the images folder these are the images available so we have to write images inside the images folder first I am going to call this image chocolate eyes jpg right after that what I am going to do is here we have to write the class we have to write photo right class we have to write a photo right we have to write class photo uh, after that we have to write a uh, width 100 height also have to set at a set 100 uh, after that we have to write another stuff is a uh, data uh, data model data equal we have to, to model right we have to set the model later on now here after that we have to write the data uh, date we have to write data target target equal we have to write the model right now we have to write like this example example model right, right. we have to uh, uh, write the model later on right now this is the thing we have to display the images right after that we have to uh, write the text inside the bold bold tag we have to write here we have to write chocolate right chocolate here we have to write chocolate right that's the thing we have to do now let's check whether it's working fine or not inside the thing right here yeah, there's this d we have to call here control x to cut off but call it here right perfect now let's save all go to the project and here it's working fine now it's working here right now you have to set here so what I'm going to do is here mm, this uh, this is your uh, this div we have to control x to cut off and here to paste here that's the thing now let's save all and check here it's working fine right the problem is inside this div we have to call it so we have to call, cut off this div and paste it here it's working fine right perfect after that the same thing we have to control c to copy control v to paste here right we have to get another image second one should be uh, we have to change it as a mango so we have to change the ima image as mango this one put mango other stuff are same we have to change here as a uh, mango right same div control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be uh, vanilla vanilla here also we have to image inside the images folder we have to write vanilla jpg right same thing how the same thing you have to control c to copy the same div this control c to copy control v to paste here this one you have to change it as a strawberry so we have to write here as yes, double please jpg this one should be strawberry so you have to write here as strawberry right strawberry right after that final one should be we have to control c to copy and we'll wait to paste here this one should be mixed fruit so we have to this image we have to change it as a mixed fruit so mix fruit it's there mix fruit right here also mix fruit right that's the stuff we have to do now let's check whether it's working all are working fine or not save all it's working fine right all the images should be working fine simple right we created successfully 
now what i'm going to do is here we have to create the tables right so let's back to our page now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create the table now here this extra spaces we have to remove what to remove them right right now here this is the div uh, column small six right now here inside this div i'm going to create the table right now here first what i'm going to do is here first we have to uh, write the simply we have to write div class container container to so the container class so the container class first what i'm going to we have to write the heading so we no need to write the again again by again here this is the this is how we have to write the heading so you have to, this same heading control c to copy div class list group this one same heading you have to paste here right this one you have to change it as uh, add product right you have to save all check refresh it here it's working fine right because it, 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 this one should be the six this one should uh, sorry three this one should be six so that the uh, this one should be little bit bigger here right so here we have to put three six here we have to column size three right now here what i'm going to do is here after that we have to write uh, table id tbl item class table table you have to write table dark you have to write table this is table border right. here cell padding zero yeah cell padding so you have cell padding zero cell pacing zero here we have to write width we have to write as 100 pixel width align center all right that's the thing we have to write table right mm. now here first we have to write tag you have to write this one only the close tag now you have to write tr tag table row right now here we have to write the tag we have to create the uh, table adding so we have to write first one should be the delete column second adding should be second one should be item third one should be control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be price this one should be quantity after that this one control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be total right that's the thing we have to do after that what i'm going to see after the thing we have to write t body it's a t body we have to write here here we have to pass that uh, when you uh, when you select the item the, all the items should be added inside the t body right we have to do later on right now here after that what i'm going to do is here we have to remove the extra spaces this is your table right now let's check whether it's all things are working fine or not save all go here refresh it here it's working fine simple right when you see when you click the item it asks the quantity if you give the quantity and click add button the item should be added here right inside the t body right we have to call it later on after that the final one we have to the this one so here we have to write uh, same heading we have to copy this heading control c to copy control v to paste here this one we have to change it as bill right bill we have to write Div. Just write here as label. Just write here as dot. Here we have write input type text. Now we have write style. 
your color yellow and background look like background black after that font size 30 pixel that is the thing you have to do after that you have to write id you have to total this one's total name total placeholder total you have to write like this total it's a placed order this page fill this you have to write right here that's the thing we have to do that's perfect click done this one total right this is the thing we have to do right uh, that's the only thing we have to do after that uh, we have to uh, give the break here give the break we need a space here after that we have to write the button so we have to uh, write another div we have to write the button so we have to write here is input type button class btn btn warning btn btn warning this one should be uh, value you have to write as a reset name reset id should be reset so, right it's a reset button right that's the thing we have to write now let's check whether all the things are working fine or not right now let's save them go to the browser right it's working fine everything working fine after that we have to write the bootstrap model so here go to the google and type bootstrap model the first link model bootstrap click on this one here you have to test the, uh, the the model look like this so you can test here here live demo click on this button here this model should be display look like this here then you click the image it asks the quantity here this one should be asked the quantity right here if you click this one it asks the quantity the same thing you have to put into this project if you click on this one it asks the quantity right so that you have to generate the model so here this is a live demo so here you have to copy this one same thing you have to copy right copy and back to your project come here this div is starting here div row uh, div class row it is ended here after this div is ended you have to paste it right okay right now this one should be the button this one like this okay when the button is clicked this model should be generated here we no need the button when you click on the image the model should be displayed so what i'm going to do is this code data toggle model target this one you have to copy this one Control c to copy you have to paste it here okay i wrote here like this data uh, toggle model all the stuff here we have to this one we have to remove them we have to control v to paste here. same thing this one also paste it here. this one also remove it instead of you have to paste control v to paste here this one also select and remove it you have to paste it here here also you have to paste it here right okay when you when you click on the model sorry when you click the image this model should be generated so that you have to call this type right you have to call it this type right style right that's the thing we have to write okay so we we no need the after that we no need this image so we have to remove them sorry this button we no need we have to remove them after that this model should be generated well let's check whether it's working fine or not save all go to the project this is your project click on this one here 
your model should be generated successfully now instead of the model title we have to write this one should be the quantity here we have to put the text uh, text box here and here we have to uh, uh, we need only one button here add so what i'm going to do is here we have to change this one as a model title as quantity here model body we need a that text box so what i'm going to do is here this is this is your total text box the same div you have to copy ctrl c to copy just total this one right ctrl c to copy you have to paste here right that this div right you have to paste it here instead of writing again again by again you have to uh, just copy and paste it right here you have to this one should be you have to write as a quantity you have to write quantity label here also input this one should be we have to change it as a quantity name you have to change it as a quantity paste order also we have to change it as quantity right that's the thing we have to write one more thing you have to do here input type this is this we have to uh, text we have to change it as a number right that's that is nice right now le now let's check so here one more thing we have to do before check at the footer we have to select these two button backspace to remove them instead of that this same button reset button we have created here this same button we have to copy ctrl c to copy you have to paste inside the footer here we have to change the uh, class as you have to write here as this one should be your as info here we have to ask, this one should be add value add this one should be add name should be here to create a sad this one should be add right right now here we have to save all go back here we have tested click on this one here it's successfully working right we no need this text right it's not the label we no need it we have to remove them now here we have to check click on this one here it's working fine this one should be the few click on the here you'll be able to select the quantity here it's look nice okay now here if you click on the vanilla here it asks the quantity it you can check the quantity right okay perfect it's working perfectly here it's working perfectly right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the jquery stuff so let's go to the jquery so here what i'm going to do is here you have to go to the google and download the jquery stuff right go to the, you can download go to the jquery libraries you can go to the uh, google and you can type jquery you have to go here and you will be able to download this website right jquery right click download and here you will be able to download here you no need to download i already download that one so i have put into one folder uh, components i have give the link in my video description you will be able to download right so here this folder here jquery all the stuff should be there available so i just copy this component folder and paste inside the project select my folder a project folder i click and paste right you no need to download the jquery part i i attach that one in my video description you will be able to download right okay in my video description you will be able to download the jquery right now here we have to after the div we have to write here right first we have to write the jquery here this one uh, jquery we have to write here jquery js we have to write script src inside the component folder there will be the folder called jquery you have to add the jquery libraries here first one should be the jquery js so you have to write here inside the jquery folder you have to there in the file jquery js right that's the one we have first added after that we have to add another one script src component folder uh, jquery you have to write the second one is a jquery min.js these two important files we have to add right that's the thing we have to do after that we have to write script inside the script you have to write the code first you have to write 
we have to create the variable var total equals zero how do we have to create another variable var dot t equals zero we have to create two variables first one should be var total equals zero second one var dot t equals zero right now after that we have to write here here we have to write var item equal null but i have created another variable var price equal zero right this is the variables i have created right after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another variable var a equal right like this right now here first what i'm going to do is here when the image is uh, when the when you select the item when you select the click on this item this particular image id should be we have to store so we have to write here is right here right img tag three image tag click event on here we have to write here is right click click function click function right you have to right click function and we have to open and close bracket open bracket and close bracket right here we have to right here right perfect now here we have to write a is a equal dollar sign this dot prop prop here we have to write id right okay perfect okay when the when you click on this one image the particular id should be stored a a variable now here we have to add the id of the images right so here we have to write we didn't write the id here we have to id here we what is id here to chocolate this one control c to copy the same thing here to put is chocolate second one should be id should be write as a mango this one control c to copy control v to paste here third word id should be so id vanilla control c to copy control v to paste here this id strawberry control c to copy control v to paste here this one here we have to write as a id should be mixed fruit control c to copy control v to paste here right now save all right now here when the when you select the image the particular id should be stored in this variable this a variable right this id should be get and store in this variable when you click the image particular get the id and store in this variable now what i now here i am going to create the condition so here if a equal if it is first one should be the chocolate so first select the if you click on the image first one should be the chocolate this one if you click this one this one should be the id should be chocolate so here this id right chocolate so we have to copy this one and paste it here now what i am going to do is here so here i have created the variable item above item equal this one should be chocolate and we'll see the copy can we paste here after that what i am going to see price i am going to give as a we have to display uh, give as a 32 right the same thing we have to do the another stuff as else if else if you try this one same thing can we see the copy can we paste here we have second one we have to select as mango so id can we see copy this one we have to paste the mango this is mango what happened is here can we see the copy can we paste here mango can we see the copy can we paste here after that same thing control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be your select as that third one should be 
vanilla control C ID this one should be vanilla this one we have changed the price as 40 right the same thing second other ice cream is a strawberry ID control C to copy control V to paste here strawberry price I am going to change it as 45 final one we will see if this one should be mixed fruit ID should be mixed fruit how to write this one as 35 right this is how it is working right now after that what I am going to do is here here we have to create the variable var quantity equal this one when you this quantity here this quantity right here when you select the item here it asks the quantity once the quantity you are entered here it will be stored in this variable right so how to get it this one as you have to write dollar sign right like this quantity dot val after that I am going to have to write dot equal quantity multiply price now here we have to write var table 1 equal we have to create the table variable here now here we have to add the columns right so first one row tr plus after that we have to write the row td td first one should be td right here td here first we have to write the buttons so here we have to write button type button so we have to write after that we have to write name record record after that we have to write a class we have to write a class btn btn on after that we have to write on click delete row write this So we have to write this delete. So we have to write here is delete td. That's the thing we have to write here. Right? After that we have to write plus. After that we have to write another td here. You have to write the TD another TD TD You have to close the TD here two plus sign you have to write here is item here this item okay this item what is what when you select the image the, it stored the variable this text should be stored in this variable it is added in this td so you have to control c to copy control v to paste here so the third one should be so plus here also plus here also price after that you have to select this td control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be quantity control C to copy control V to PC this one should be taught right finally we have to write this one as a the same tier this tier tag control C to copy control V to paste here this one you have to remove it you have to end the tier right now here we have to end the tier right after that what I am going to do is here here go to the project here if you click the item and select the quantity click add button item should be added into the table so here I have created everything so here go to the this one add add button 
this is the button uh, when you click the uh, item the so model should be generated this one th this add button here okay here we have to write the method on click you have to write the function at this function all right you call the function when you click the add button it's called this on click this add function so here you have to create the function function at right open the bracket and close bracket inside this function we have to call all the code we have to copy this one this code we have to control x to cut off control it paste inside the code right that's what of we have to do right when you click the button right now after that what i'm going to do is here you have to do another important stuff is you have to write here is dollar sign you have to write dollar sign you have to write we have to add the thing into the inside the t body so table table t body dot append you have to write this table variable control c copy control v to paste that's the thing we have to write after that what i'm going to do is you have to write this one as well how does that we have to write this one this model id example model this one to call it here and we have to dot model so we have to write as a This is the thing we have, right? Now let's check. Go to the let's save all. You have to write check here. Refresh it. Click on this one. We have to enter the quantity. Click add button here. You can check, right? If you click this one, if you enter the quantity here, it will it is working well, right? Now if you add at the uh, if you add at the item. the total should be displayed here right the final total should be displayed on this text box right so let's check how to do the task right so let's go here what i'm going to do is here here i'm going to create the variable above here as first time going to create the i have already declared the variable above total you have to get it here total plus equal so right number You have to write this one should be talked. Right. After that, what I am going to do is here. You have to write here is you have to this talk. You have to pass into the final total text box. Talk well. This talk you have to pass. For total. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, all the total should be added here. and we have to pass into the total text box here right that's the thing we have to do right after that what i am going to do is here we have to set the quantity quantity text box well one set as one right that's the thing that's the only thing we have to do right now let's check save all go here we have to check here click on this one to here it's working fine if you click mango click here it's working fine strawberry it's working fine it's working well now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to it's working well here so all the total should be calculated and display here now i'm going to do another stuff is if you delete the if you press delete button the entire row will be deleted and the total should be reduced right so let's back to our project now what i'm going to do is here row deleted part i have written the code okay here i have written the code if i write the code the, the, this code i take too much time to complete the project so that i wrote this one here is very simple i have explained so you could understand here when you click the delete button here delete button this is the code of the delete button 
delete draw here we are there is a method called on click method delete draw it goes to the function delete draw here it's do the needful things here right i have created the total cost variable here is the last td take the last td and reduce the cost and pass into the TD, uh, total here what happens here if you enter the item here click add if you go here and click another things click at here if you click delete button the item should be deleted and the price should be reduced so that i have wrote here get the last uh here td last me this is the last row all right that's the thing it is here reduced and pass into here this is the code we are used to remove the row right now let's save all then now run the project click this one quantity right another one right another one right. now i'm going to delete the row here delete the cost should be reduced here delete the cost will be reduced right it's working fine delete it here right it's working fine now another stuff i'm going to do the code for the reset button so reset button i have to write here is here we have to go to the reset button the reset button i have to uh, write the code here reset button for here we have to write here simply you have to write here it's very simple code you have to write reset dot click function start and close bracket here we have to write location dot reload right it's fine right if you click this button entire form should be reloaded right now let's save all and check if you enter the item here second one third one right now here once the sale over click reset and a form should be reset right very simple code i have wrote here right here right this very simple code uh, you go through these codes and work if you have uh, any doubts while you are writing the code uh, please ask me uh, anytime i will be help you uh, if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching